it's become harder to justify carrying a flashlight on your person among your set of already hyper-curated everyday carries since the dawn of the iPhone flashlight. Yet, using it religiously can drain your phone's battery life fast, and it really only goes so far in terms of output and utility. But you also don't wish to carry a full-size flashlight, especially since your pocket's probably already occupied with your favorite EDC pocket knife. So then, we'd recommend taking a look at a purpose-built keychain flashlight, and luckily, we have a few great suggestions that pack in high output and stellar battery life inside a profile you can fit in your hand or conveniently among your keys. As always, we've sorted our guide by price point, so let's dive right in and take a look at the first of our favorite EDC keychain flashlights. If your time is limited, and you're in search of a just-get-this-keychain flashlight that won't put a dent in anyone's budget, the Night Eyes Radiant Microlight is almost always found under $10. The Radiant Microlight is a tiny keychain flashlight measuring just 1.85 inches in length that clocks in at a mere 0.35 ounces. For comparison, the average house key is 1.96 inches in length and weighs in at approximately 0.25 ounces, so the small but rugged Night Eyes would be in perfect company on anyone's keychain of choice. It's also built like a tank, with a full polycarbonate frame, and is both water and impact resistant, so it'll be sure to hold up against the regular abuse your keychain may endure day to day, connected via its stainless steel carabiner clip. The Night Eyes Radiant Microlight builds in a max output of 12 lumens, which will be the standard unit of measure in this guide if you're not already familiar. To provide some context, the average candle provides one lumen of output when measured at a distance of one imperial foot. However, most of our keychain lights will have infrastructure or a lens to amplify or focus this light. So often, the light may appear brighter while it's actually just more focused. As an example, the Night Eyes Radiant Microlight all in all produces a max throw of 55 feet at the highest 12 lumen setting. We digress. If you don't want to use its maximum setting, the Radiant Microlight provides three modes of brightness, high at 12 lumens, low at 2 lumens to conserve battery life, and flashing, reserved for emergencies or to send an SOS signal, all of which are powered by an internal battery rechargeable via the micro USB port. To engage those different modes of brightness, simply press the button once to turn to the highest setting, another for the low mode, and a third for the strobe. Next up, the Olight i1 R2 Pro EOS clocks in at about double the price of our first pick, but revamps the power infrastructure by building in a rechargeable battery. As a pint-sized EDC keychain flashlight, the Olight i1 R2 Pro EOS measures 2.02 inches in length and only 0.78 ounces in weight, making it an apt companion on your keychain. The body is constructed from lightweight aluminum and features a scratch-resistant anodized finish that also renders it with a sleek finish in between the textured machining of the grip points. It also comes IPX8 rated, which means it can take a serious beating in terms of weather resistance or to protect against full submersion up to 2 meters in depth for nearly 30 minutes without water incursion. The i1 R2 Pro EOS uses two modes of brightness, the first at 180 lumens for maximum output and the second at a much lower 5 lumens to conserve battery when needed. Focusing the high-performance cool LED is a TIR optic lens that provides an even beam of light with a maximum throw of 50 meters or roughly 165 feet. Operating is as simple as twisting the head of the keychain flashlight to engage the high-performance CSP LED for possible one-handed operation. Moreover, the i1R2 Pro EOS packs in a rechargeable 130mAh lithium-ion battery that's rated for up to 23 minutes of continuous use at maximum output of 180 lumens and 12 hours when conserving battery life at 5 lumens. Charging is also as simple as mounting the USB-C charging cable to the built-in port. Plus, this flashlight builds in a convenient memory function that will remember the previous mode even after a power cycle. For just $5 more than the Olight and with similar rechargeable battery infrastructure, the Phoenix E03R keychain flashlight resembles a traditional car key fob, albeit in an even smaller profile. The E03R is machined from hard-wearing aero-grade aluminum and as such maintains an IPX6 rating for shock resistance and weatherproofing. For context, before we proceed, and like we explained with lumens, the IP scale ranges from IPX0 through IPX9, with no resistance to water and high resistance to both high temperature and high pressure incursion, even at a close range, for the former and the latter, respectively. So an IPX6 rating simply means the E03R will stand up to a pretty high degree of abuse in any scenario. In terms of size, its dimensions are up at 1.85 inches in length by 0.94 inches in width by just 0.47 inches in thickness, the average key fob at roughly 2.3 inches long by 1.3 inches wide by 0.5 inches thick for comparison. The sleek dark grey aluminum case houses TA18 cool white LEDs and can run for about 18 hours of average operation, or more specifically, 45 minutes at 260 lumens, 1 hour and 15 minutes at 80 lumens, 3 hours at 30 lumens, and 18 hours at 5 lumens, or the flashlight's eco setting for a total of 4 modes of brightness. And at its brightest setting, you can expect 42 meters or roughly 140 feet of illumination. 
It also builds in a steady and flashing 5-lumen red-colored auxiliary light for night vision applications or emergency use situations and fully recharges via an integrated USB-C charging port in under 1.5 hours. An operation is as simple as engaging the copper-colored push button on the top face. At $35, with a staggering 1000 lumen output, we couldn't leave the EGTAC Teeny DX3E off our list, and as the name suggests, the powerful keychain flashlight packs in a punch for a small form factor. At just 2.6 inches in length by 0.5 inches thick, weighing just under 1 ounce, the Teeny DX3E uses HA3 hard anodization, stainless steel button switch and head bezels, and a contrasting solid brass heatsink, which all back up the keychain flashlight's IPX6 water resistance, even down to the USB charging infrastructure itself. Output is really where the EGTAC Teeny DX3E shines, uh, excuse our pun, with a thousand lumens of output, utilizing a luminous SST20 LED cell in either a neutral white or a cool white color temperature. If that seems like all too much, the eight modes of brightness ranging from 1 to 1000 lumens provides more than enough options for nearly every situation, which also provides a maximum throw of 105 meters or about 345 feet. To cycle through those modes, simply press the stainless steel button switch, and if there's one particular mode you find yourself using often, the DX3E even allows for a startup program. The DX3E uses a built-in 3.7 volt lithium phosphate 400 mAh battery, rechargeable through the built-in USB-C charging port. At its lowest setting of 1 lumen, it supplies 150 hours of power on a single charge and 0.6 hours or about 40 minutes at its brightest advertised setting of 1000 lumens, which is significantly longer than we even expected. Moving on, the Mech Army X3S in copper is undeniably one of the most beautiful EDC keychain flashlights that you'll find out there, sporting an even brush finish and incredibly clean machining. The X3S would be the perfect choice for someone who's already assembled or is in the process of assembling a set of copper or brass EDC that will no doubt patina with unique character over time. The Mech Army X3S is similarly sized alongside our other picks at 1.83 inches in length, with a maximum thickness of 0.58 inches at the torch's head, and weighs an almost imperceptible 0.63 ounces. It also features an integrated ring at its base to secure it onto any keychain directly, or to mount a larger keyring already secured to your keychain. The X3S shares a lot of the same construction cues as our other picks, so it should come as no surprise that it also maintains a virtually impervious water resistant shell, with an IPX8 rating for full submersion up to 2 meters underwater and shock resistance from 1 meter high. You also may be wondering what these 50% and 100% indicators are for. Well, initially we guessed that this may have been a lens adjustment setting, but it simply indicates how far you can unscrew the cap before it disengages completely from the threading, before exposing the sensitive electronic LED contact points to the elements when recharging via the micro USB. Instead of a push button engagement system, the Mech Army X3S uses a twist on and off mechanism like the Olight i1R2 Pro EOS and provides two modes of brightness, a low 8 lumen setting for close range illumination that can run continuously off a single charge for up to 6 hours hours, and a high 130 lumen setting that can also run continuously for about 30 minutes on a single charge, with a maximum throw of 59 meters or 193 feet. There are very few keychain flashlights on this list that use a replaceable battery. A built-in unit not only provides more convenience, but it also often allows for longer battery life compared to your standard AA, AAAs, or even smaller button or coin cell batteries, so rechargeable infrastructure is definitely a feature you want to look for. The X3S builds in a 10180 lithium ion rechargeable battery and uses a mini USB to top it off, and you have to unscrew the flashlight's head to access this port. We admittedly are a bit disappointed Mech Army hasn't given the X3S an update with a far more utilized and popular USB-C that has a higher voltage threshold, 5 volts versus 8 volts, and is certainly becoming the standard for any electronics. So if they're looking to update this anytime soon, we'd recommend starting here. As our second key fob style keychain flashlight in this guide, the Nikkor Tiny 2 at $40 boasts the second highest output on this list with 500 lumens by packing in two LED cells over the traditional single iterations, and even packs in a mini OLED settings display. The Tiny 2 is, as the name suggests, the second iteration of the original Nikkor Tiny, a 380 lumen single LED keychain flashlight that embodied many of the same external characteristics the Tiny 2 carried over. The Tiny 2 now adds in an extra Osram P8 LED for a combined 500 lumens of output, and an integrated OLED LED for operation and settings that all add an imperceptible 0.1 inches of length to what is already an extremely small unit. Its updated dimensions sit at 1.8 inches in length by 0.98 inches in width by 0.49 inches in height, and the new additions render the Tiny 2 at 0.66 ounces, a marginal increase from the Tiny's original 0.47 ounce weight. 
The external construction also secures an IP54 rating, or ingress protection 5 for solids like dust and fine particles, and 4 for water or solids. Although not as protective as others on this list that boast ratings like IPX8, you'll be adequately protected against reasonable water and dust exposure over time. The real worry here is the OLED screen, which of course doesn't mix well with water. When combined with the push button on and off engagement system, it's no surprise the Tiny 2 does sport a marginally lower IP rating compared to our other picks. Powering the Tiny 2 is a 280mAh lithium-ion battery that uses a rubber-covered USB-C charging infrastructure to top off, which powers both the dual LED emitters focused with a TRO lens, of course, but also the new OLED display. The extra LED lets the Tiny 2 produce 500 lumens of output with 5 modes of brightness, available ranging from a maximum turbo mode at 500 to the ultra-low mode at 1 lumen. You can expect the Tiny 2 to run continuously at 15 minutes and 60 hours respectively, with three other modes like a mid-setting at 65 lumens that can run for about 2.5 hours, and what should come as no surprise, the Tiny 2 provides a solid 88 meters of throw, or about 288 feet. Using the push buttons at the torch's top face to control this display, you're provided access to a main menu presenting two user modes, Demo and Daily. Demo allows the LEDs to switch automatically after about 30 seconds of inactivity to conserve battery life, which also prevents accidental engagement when not intended for use if the keychain flashlight gets knocked around in the pocket, or even sat on. Daily mode conversely keeps the light on continuously until the LED is manually disengaged or if the battery runs out. Manufactured by Countycom, who creates and sells their products specifically for local, state, and federal governments, their online inventory is available to the public only as excess, so quantities and availability are limited at any given time. Nonetheless, we wanted to include the latest version of the uber-popular Maratac Peanut in the form of the Maratac Peanut Beast, an updated version of the original since it no longer lives on. At a glance, the Peanut Beast does take on a slightly new form, but its much-loved features are now revamped, along with its new external character, all for about $40. The Peanut Beast uses a 2.1-inch full aircraft-grade aluminum shell with a width of 0.94 inches at the thickest point of the flashlight's head and weighs in at approximately 0.75 ounces. If you're familiar with the original Peanut, you may not recognize the Peanut Beast as related since it sports a longer cone-shaped reflector of aluminum alloy to house the lens, but they both share some pretty insane specifications for such small units. Externally, the other only notable detail is the Beast's single push button for controlling the powerful keychain flashlight single LED. As one of its defining features, certainly aided by the small aluminum alloy reflector, the Peanut Beast single O-RAM white 520 lumen LED can throw a whopping 1,020 feet, or roughly 310 meters, for a keychain flashlight with a weight that's almost imperceptible to perceive on person, having the ability to illuminate at that range should not be understated. Powering this LED is a swappable 10-180 lithium-ion battery cell with a capacity of 80 milliamp hours, and you can even further maximize battery life by 400%, since Maratac offers a 10-440 battery adapter that seamlessly screws onto the reflector portion just under the push button. Maratac builds in five modes of total operation with three main modes of your standard low at 70 lumens, a medium, and a high at 460 lumens, with two extra modes at the extremes, a lunar setting at 1 lumen for a total runtime of up to 12 hours by pressing and holding the beast's only button, and a turbo setting for intense applications for a total runtime of just 14 minutes, with continuous use activated at any time by double-clicking the button. After four generations, the Rovi Vaughn Aurora A4, retailing for $60, is certainly one of the most impressive keychain flashlights on the market for a few notable reasons, and offers a few upgrades over the Gen 3. The Gen 4 sees support for both USB-C, which it builds in natively, and supports USB-C to micro-USB charging, eliminating the need to carry more than one cord or adapter, adds a lockout mode to combat accidental engagement when not in use, and most apparent, constructs this version from a TC4 titanium alloy for extreme weight savings and hard-wearing durability. The titanium shell sizes up at 2.38 inches long with a 0.6 inch width at the flashlight's thickest point, and weighs in at approximately 0.8 ounces, which would be substantially inflated had the Aurora A4 been constructed from a heavier stainless steel, but is still about two-thirds heavier than an aluminum alloy like the one used for the Phoenix E03R or the Nightcore Tiny 2. We really like the machining on the Rovivant Aurora A4. It's definitely more intentional for long-term use over our other picks by building in two long flat channels on the torch's sides. The push button also maintains concentric rings for grip that feel markedly premium in terms of fit and finish. And not only is the 4th gen lighter, but it also boasts a hard-wearing IPX6 water resistance rating to keep the internals protected from accidental water or dust ingress over time. 
The 4th Gen Aurora A4 uses a 650 lumen cool white LED emitter at its tip and provides a total of 4 modes of brightness that should cover you in just about any situation. Moonlight at 0.4 lumens, low at 25 lumens, medium at 200 lumens, and high at the maximum 650 lumens, which produces a throw of 110 meters or about 360 feet. You can expect up to 56 hours of continuous use if you'll only be using the lowest moonlight setting, and conversely about 1 minute at its maximum output before automatically stepping down to 80 lumens for another 1.5 hours before the battery exhausts. At its core, the Aurora A4 uses a 330mAh lithium polymer battery and builds in a protected USB-C external charging port that can replenish the internal battery in about 1 hour when fully depleted. Rovivon also makes operating the Aurora A4 incredibly simple, with a single push button to cycle between its modes as well as a press and hold mode, where the LED will turn off once the button's released, and a strobe mode for emergencies or signaling. As an added feature, the A4 currently ships with a magnetic clip at its base, which as you'll know if you work on cars, motorcycles, or operate a trade, can seriously come in handy on the day to day. As our last and most expensive EDC keychain flashlight selection at $69, the Prometheus Lights Beta QRV2 is certainly not least, especially this version with a magnetic on-off quick-release mechanism built into the torch's base. We covered this keychain flashlight briefly in one of our last EDC guides, but let's go a bit more in-depth to take a look at its features. The Beta QRV2 frame is one of the most popular from Prometheus Lights since their start in 2011, and has quickly become a mainstay in the space for the keychain flashlight's features, function, integrating a high CRI LED, and attention to detail. This magnetic version of their unparalleled Beta QRV2 takes on a slightly smaller size by about one quarter of the size of the regular Beta QRV2, and it measures 3.2 inches long by 0.55 inches thick, and sizes down to 2.7 inches long without the magnetic QR mechanism attached, for a total 1.2 ounce weight. This torch uses a lightweight Type 3 anodized 6061 aluminum, a process that forms extremely hard, abrasion-resistant, porous oxide onto aluminum surfaces, which will keep the Beta QRV2's external appearance in good standing, even if it lives with your keys on the day-to-day. -day. Not to mention, it also maintains an IPX8 water resistance rating for full submersion in water up to 1 meter. While you may think accurate color rendition in a small keychain flashlight is a non-issue, for specific applications it could be paramount to have an accurate unit on hand. Think restoring art, or checking the color of your car's engine oil, or even an EMT for checking skin tone in emergency situations. What makes the magnetic QRV2 stand out is just that, its magnetic activation. To engage the LED, simply disengage the contrast and gold magnetic keyring, and the LED turns on. Re-engage and the LED will shut off. However, if you'd like to operate without the keyring, as you'd like to keep the keyring tethered to your keychain, you can simply twist the head on and off, as you would with a keychain flashlight that didn't have this novel feature intentionally built in. And although the Beta QRV2 Magnetic won't win any awards for output with a 40 lumen upper limit and a throw of just 10 meters or 33 feet, you will still be able to squeeze out a solid 2 hours of runtime from a single AAA battery. Although it's helpful to experience an individual breakdown, there can be a big difference in throw, spread, and color temperature, all of which are quite difficult to decipher without a side-by-side -side comparison. To make this more straightforward, we took each keychain flashlight out into the field for a thorough unit-to-unit -unit test, and documented our findings keeping our camera settings consistent for accurate representation. As a note, each keychain flashlight was tested at its highest output setting, and it's also important to note that falloff, color temperature, and spread may vary at lower settings, so don't be surprised if these specific metrics vary a bit at lesser degrees of brightness if you're testing them out at home. You can also see that compared side by side to their much brighter contemporaries, the Beta QRV2 and the Night Eyes Radiant Microlight at 40 lumens and 6 lumens respectively simply didn't register at our 25 foot test, but throw aren't their strong suits anyway. LED technology, although more consistent than older flashlight tech, is still at the mercy of basic optical physics. Let's examine what we found. What should come as no surprise, the clear winners in terms of throw are the four keychain flashlights with the highest output. The ETAC Teeny DX3E at 1000 lumens, the Rovivon Aurora A4 at 650 lumens, the Meritac Peanut Beast at 520 lumens, and the Nightcore Tiny 2 at 500 lumens. However, when you're finalizing your purchase, don't forget that output alone isn't the end-all be-all. The number of modes, color temperature, size, shape, operation, and charging infrastructure are all important factors to consider, so we hope our guide provided you with a solid understanding of each.